I love a girl who pumps her own gas. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. What is up? Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 2. I just stopped inside Air One. We're starting so late today. Want to know why? Because the first day already took me the f out. I literally I slept in, then I went and got my coffee, then I sat in bed and edited the rest of the vlog. So I started last night and then finished the overall. It took me 11 hours to edit that vlog that you watched yesterday if you watched yesterday's vlog and I was like oh we simply cannot we cannot be doing that long of vlogs it was like 35 minutes like hopefully I can just get like 10 minutes a day there's just so much going on but anyways went to air one got my favorite chia puddings I should have got a card because I could only hold two I think there was only three though so it doesn't even matter but these are so good if you ever go to air one these are overpriced look I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the first to tell you but I don't like the chia see pudding i make why is it never good it's never good it's strawberry overnight oats but it has like chias in it so it's like half oat half chia i don't know how the hell they make this they tell you how to make it on here but like i just i cannot babes like what i suck anyways i got those and then i got this for my avocado toast Extra spark. i don't know why the hell i bought this one it's because i seen some lady buy it i wish they had these in the half loaf next time if i don't like that like i'm gonna just get the or original one next time but i prefer to buy bread like from an actual bakery and this is like fermented sourdough so when we crack it open it'll be like purple and can you see it purple and yellow on the inside one time i was standing in line i seen some lady get it and i was like that actually looks so good have you had it and she was like no this is gonna be my first time i was like ah, i wish you could tell me how it how it is but i'm gonna I'm try it for myself and we'll see so need to go to first of all i need to put some deodorant on i just got a whiff and it wasn't a good one i put this little thing in the car it's got my tide pen it's got my hand sanny and it's got what do you know some dove deodorant these little travels i just found this the other day when i was cleaning and i was like what i totally forgot about this thing because you can just get the refills of it which is so good yeah i am stenched up right now so we need that but yeah these are like amazing for on the go i just get the little refills of the aluminum freeze and then let me put some of this on because i'm feeling crusted out summer fridays that's how you know this is a girly car okay this is the girly essentials babe i love being a, i love being a girl like i Sorry, but I love being a woman. I really do. Like, I'm not like super, super duper feminine because I feel like I had to grow up really fast and like growing out without a father. Like, you really have to be like independent. So I kind of give off like woo vibes. <laughs> have you seen that thing of Megan Trainer? I had to do things for myself. You know what I mean? So I feel like I give off like manly vibes. Also, like I probably have enough testosterone to literally be a man. So <laughs> I'm going to go to the post office and then we're gonna go to Home Goods. So in yesterday's vlog i said that i needed a lamp for the bathroom and i want to get a new mat for my patio outside because little miss biggie girl she loves to sleep on the patio and like lay on the patio and i feel so bad that she's like on this crusty ass mat that i need to like either throw out or give away wash get rid of it like she deserves better she deserves a better mat to sleep on outside i'm gonna get her a rug and then i'm looking for a lamp hopefully like a floor lamp but we'll see also i haven't been to home goods in so long we are doing big girl things over here i cannot believe i forgot my water like this is honestly an atroc atroc atrocity atro atrocious this is an atrocity that's not the word stop to clean juice as you've seen because i literally took I, my mind was somewhere else like when i was driving 
and I was driving to the post office, I like went the wrong way and I was like, well, I'm going over to this way towards clean juice. Like whatever, if I'm going that way, I'm getting me a clean juice. And I never had this, the mangoes and cream. So good. Although, is this the 16 ounce? She gave me a big one. I'm pretty sure the other one is smaller. Yeah, she gave me a big one. That's so nice. Sometimes they do that to me and I'm like, and this morning, you know what? They gave me free coffee, me and my mom. At Lala, and they bought my avocado toast. A girl said that one of her friends, I guess, watches me. So, hey girl, if you're watching this, like, thank you so much. That's so nice. If you're in LA, you have to go to La La Land Cafe. They have other drinks, not just coffee. Their food is so good. The vibes are there. It is so bougie. Like, go see my girls. I go to the one in Calabasas because it's the closest one towards me. It's, like, literally the only one that's in the valley. They have some in, like, Santa Monica. They have one at the Grove, so... Go to La... It's so good. Also, they have a shit ton in Texas. If you're in Texas, check that out. They have La La Land. They have a shit ton in Texas. I think more in Texas than they have here, so... It's good. I like this one. The mangoes and cream. Very, very good. Also got me a little toasty. I mean, she could have put a little more love into the toast, but that's okay. She did give me a lot of egg. Oh. In my second avocado toast of the day. One thing about me, I'm gonna eat an avocado toast. And I'm going to enjoy it. It's like becoming one of my obsession things again. You know what I'm saying? Like where you obsess over something for like a month. And then you forget about it. And then you obsess over it again. Yeah. That's me right now. With avocado toast. Because I stopped eating it for a while. And every day I was just eating eggs and stuff. So she put her heart and soul into this though. It's hitting. Or maybe I'm just starving. Avocado toast with lemon. I love to eat. And only I don't understand how people don't like get up and think about food. Like, can I drive straight? Even if I see that there's no <laughs> like median when I'm driving, I literally still feel like I'm gonna hit something. Like if you drive straight, I ain't shit. No. Go to lean, so you can get, get about my dick. I'm just have to lay the yard down. Fuck a right up. Roll. I've been making plays, hope I'll make it home. Why was this song so good? We need to really appreciate this song. <laughs> it was so good! What do you mean? I'm vanilla, baby. I'll choke you, but I ain't no killer, baby. Then you can't tie me down. Like Suave, Young Enrique. Don't be spotted around your brain. You can't tie me down. Do you know what just unlocked a memory in my brain? Mmm. No way. <clears throat> that I was obsessed with these dudes. She ain't gonna tie me down. Why you on the road? So I ain't gonna tie me down. I was obsessed with legacy. I was obsessed. Oh, I thought I was gonna marry him. I thought I was gonna marry like girl be for real. I need to get over. I'm behind this weed whacker, wood chipper. I'm behind a wood chipper. I'm pretty sure that's what this thing is. There's so many people out. Every time I'm like, there's so many people. I'm just like, does anybody work? But like, babes, what are, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I love this song. It's like my favorite song right now. Everything about you. Now I can't think of life without you. Did you know that you know? my brain so unbelievably good this song a lot of his songs do that actually i actually love him get it love him i actually love him but why are the police at home goods right now <laughs> like why? <laughs> Why is Home Goods packed as a mother? There's always shit going on here. That's what I love about LA. Always shit going on. Yo, why do I love this so bad? I know it shocked me. <laughs> I don't think it will produce enough light though. I think this is so gorgeous. Oh my god. It's like so sticky. Actually, both of these are. Prices are we looking at? Oh, they're both 60. I like love this. I actually love both of them. 
it's not a floor lamp but i could set it on the i actually don't even know where i could set it. <laughs> actually you know what i could put it in the corner of the Cashier. like near the toilet is that weird i just can't tell which one do i like more hmm. i like this one but i think i like this shade better which one do you guys think see what happens when you stop giving a shit about an aesthetic you like actually buy what you really like and that's just my vibes so let me see i don't know i need to make a decision we're gonna do the pink even though i love this one i i just there's something about this that i love so much y'all when i finally get a house i want like two of these like right next to the front door you know what i'm talking about like one on either side oh my god that would be so cute this is gorgeous if i, if I had a place for this i would buy this it's so cute they have so many cute mini trees one year i'm gonna do like a pink tree too like maybe in the studio or something but i don't need any more shit right now i'm like trying to get rid of shit <laughs> so i'm only buying stuff that i like really really need but i love her she's in the cart next stop is marshall's i actually haven't been to marshall's in so long so i'm kind of excited about this because it's like you know the same vibes as tj maxx they're really owned by the same company so period i'm excited yo look at how cute this is this is 40 bucks for a mini bag oh, 40 dollars for a juicy oh my god i want it so bad but like i'm like do i need it oh, i feel like i do though because it's like pink you know what i mean oh my god it's so cute they have tons of them run to marshall's literally i'm like should i buy it oh Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm obsessed with this. I'm literally obsessed with this. Like, the cute fits I could put with this is insane. I've been loving the juicy bags lately, too, and this is, like, the perfect place to get them. I'm gonna see if I can find any more, actually. I'm not a Jacquemus dupe. It's got a dupe. <laughs> that's so cute. What brand is this? I actually don't know what that is, but that's cute. Hmm. I'm trying to see, like... There were those fuzzy juicy bags, do you guys remember? Like from a couple months ago, but we never get the good shit in LA, I swear. That is, I only got the lamp. I was low key browsing around for a little minute and Marshall's in there and then this guy like stopped to talk to me. It always low key, this is a sad world that we live in, but sometimes it stresses me out when people like stop me and, and talk to me, just like have a conversation because I know that a lot of people do that to either one trip you out and take your shit or two to like get their reader close to your card or your phone or something and like scan your so you have to be careful like even my mom was telling me when she was in TJ Maxx with my grandma some guy literally stole some lady's wallet like literally while she's just shopping that's why older people should not go shopping alone okay because it's just very scary like you just don't know you know what I mean but i think he was like genuine but i was just like kept looking at my shit like don't fucking try me don't try. like because he was asking me how this bag like looked on him and like all this stuff and then like when he was done talking he was kind of done talking like fast like i don't know sometimes i'm just like very on edge about things obviously being a woman like you kind of have to be those juicy bags were such a good deal i literally sent them to everybody and i was like in case you love me for christmas should have just got the bags and honestly i, pr I might go back and get them if, if i think about them if i think about something enough i'll go back and get it but there was nothing that i was like i absolutely need this in there um that marshall's is kind of small so anyways let's go home i need to feed my babies and set up my new lamp and i want to clean the pr cabinet that was like on my list of things that i need to do today what the hell is this guy doing let me get the hell out of here these this person is like coming door to door on people's cars yeah absolutely fucking not i want to clean out the pr cabinet and make another whole other section for it you guys will see i'll show you everything fuck are you looking at you idiot cussing at me like what are you doing all right oopsies what the hell was i doing right <laughs> i forgot to show you guys just how gorgina my lamp is i put her right here in the corner let me turn her on <gasps> Gorgeous. I'm literally obsessed with her. I think she's so beautiful. Like, I low-key wanted both of them. But I was like, I don't need both. But like, should I have got the other one to go on the other side? She's so 
beautiful. It matches like the same vibes as my rug in here. Like even though this one's blue, like all the flowers and everything kind of go together. It matches my, sorry, this thing is in the way, but my salt lamp, I put my salt lamp on too, but yeah, I just wanted like nicer vibes in here. I love it. I think she's so stinking cute. Definitely more of my vibe for when I do like my nighttime skincare, okay? But right now I want to clean out the PR cabinet. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find room for the other shit that's in the cabinet. It's just like a hall closet, but it's kind of like a small hall closet so yeah we're just gonna clean it out and find more space for so i can see kind of what's going on in the pr because right now it's like mumble jumble i live like have no clue what's going on so i'm just going to clean off the second shelf you'll see you'll see so <laughs> Just put the record. Just put the record. If they like me, they drop at the door, my door, then no go catch up.